Welcome back to The Griddle, guys. Today we did orange crispy beef and broccoli. Delicious, we did it all on The Griddle. Show you how, stay tuned. Guys, you saw how amazing this looked. Yeah, uh, we're gonna show you how to do it. So, first steps, cutting the beef. We're gonna cut this into three pieces. Looking for about, I don't know, two inches wide. So I gotta kinda cut them on a curve here because. And what kind of beef is that? Flank, flank. steak. Nice. Flank steak. So the nice thing about flank steak is you can see the, the, grain, the grain. Very easily. If you can't see the grain, borrow Chris's glass. <laughs> oh yeah, gotta get those. <laughs> you need them? So, All right, so after that, we're just gonna go on a bias, about a 45 degree angle. And Jeff says he wants these about a quarter inch thick. So is that what you're looking for, Jeff? Perfect. Right there? Perfect. So the reason why we're just getting right to this and we can go over the ingredients for the sauce and everything uh, in a bit, is we wanna get this coated, however you want with the cornstarch and get it into the freezer for at least 30 to an hour, 30 minutes to an hour. What's the reason for that? Uh, it actually, I think it helps draw out some of the moisture yep. so it gets crispier and I think it also helps with uh, not overcooking the beef. So it'll help get crispier because all the moisture's taken out? Yeah. Cool. So this is a recipe from America's Test Kitchen. I didn't know you got this from now. Yeah, they definitely didn't do it on a griddle. And I I'm just gonna fillet this last piece because it was too. Yeah. Changed it up quite did a bit. Did they shallow fry or deep fry? How did they uh, fry it? They deep fried. So this is definitely different, but we got the griddle. It's gonna work. Yeah, it's we gonna can be still, awesome. We can deep fry in the griddle if you want. I'll just go get the oil started now. <laughs> <laughs> in this weather, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'll get it started now. <laughs> so I got Nate cutting the chicken. chicken. Same as the beef. Same, Same as, as the beef. beef. I yeah. got Nate cutting the beef. <laughs> <laughs> I got Chris over there doing nothing, as usual. I'm not calling the beef chicken, Jeff. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we'll, we'll finish this up and, uh, and show you the next step. All right, beef cut up, good to go. And we need a bigger bowl. Yeah, because uh, apparently Jeff's dumping in some soy sauce. I'm gonna massage the double, double, dark, double dark, as Jeff calls it, chicken. So you and, just wanna uh, coat this, the soy sauce, the chicken. The chicken. <laughs> coat the chicken. <laughs> this beef feels good, nice and tender. That's <laughs> what Oh, Nate. <laughs> I got the, doc oh, I got the doctor gloves on, too. <laughs> All right, so smear it around, get everything coated. And definitely use your hands. How much cornstarch? Ah, we're just gonna coat it all. You know, but you definitely want to work it in. That's what she said. Nah. Is this going on a cookie sheet or? A, yeah. Uh, okay. You might want to keep that out. Please. A little rack. Yeah. A little more cornstarch. Uh, it depends on what Jeff wants. He's the boss. I'm the hoss. As long as it's coated well. I just want to coat it well. What do you think you use, Jeff? Maybe uh, three tablespoons. Uh, I think we'll say a quarter cup when it's all said and done. And this is worth two and a half pounds of beef. Is there any chance that three tablespoons is a quarter of a cup? No. In Jeff's world? <laughs> not at all. Not, no. even, not even close, okay. Chris. So I don't know, I mean. I'm gonna look it up when I put this camera down. <laughs> Do you want more than this? Yeah, so that's good, the other side. Not so much, so you gotta give me more than. Yeah, yeah give me like a pile right here. Yeah, there you go. Right. Changing my technique, I'm gonna do a little pat. I don't think it has to be that much. <laughs> picky, picky SOB, isn't he? Actually, yeah, that's fine. That's all good. So yeah. we're just gonna lay it out on a cookie sheet. We put it on a, uh, what would you call that, Nate? A grid? No. Wire rack. Yeah. A what? Wire rack. Oh, wire rack. Yeah. So throw it on a wire rack, spread it out, and, uh, and get it in the freezer. Get Let in the freezer. Let it sit for half an hour. Half minimum. an hour to an hour. Yeah. Half an hour minimum, right? Yeah, you don't want it frozen. You just want it starting to get solid. Yeah, see, some of these, like, got yeah. nothing. About time Nate worked in the video. I know. Good know, job, Jeff. This, this is really nice. I like Keep it. Keep it up. All right, Jeff's making room in the freezer. Uh, beef's breaded. I just want to point out that not all of them have like a full white coating. Some of them, you know, the, the breading's kind of more absorbed. Breading, the cornstarch's more absorbed into the beef. But you got room in there yet? Yeah, I think so. Start dropping it on the top. Nice. All right, set your timer. Sit. Half an hour? Time, time to toast. What are we going to do for half an hour? Nate, any ideas? No, no, no probably no ideas. Just practice spelling or something. <laughs> Talk about the difference between chicken and uh, beef. Beef. <laughs> so while the beef is in the freezer, I'm gonna start prepping the sauce. Chicken. Uh, for the beef, <laughs> for the beef. Uh, you're gonna use a zest of an orange, and normally you don't really wanna have the pith in it, but according to America's Test Kitchen, you want a little bit of that bitterness for the, uh, the actual meal. Yeah. So, so I'm going a little. 
a little deep, but none of this is gonna go to waste. Going deep, Nate. Take it easy. All right, so you got those, and then you wanna slice it really fine. And what is this for, sauce? This is not really for the sauce. This is for cooking it. Give it a little flavor. So we're gonna actually put this aside. So that's, can it, what, you throw that on the griddle? Yeah, you're gonna cook that on the griddle with the garlic and ginger. But it's, it's orangey. Gonna, it's gonna definitely be orangey. Yeah. Maybe that's why they call it orange crispy beef. Is that what or they call crispy it? crispy orange beef. What Which one is it? <laughs> All right, so that's gonna be enough for that. We're gonna put that aside. Uh, for the sauce, we're gonna use the, now the juice. That is a dark orange. Yeah, it looks like a grapefruit. It looks like a cara cara. Yeah, it is an orange, supposedly. It smells like an orange. It looks like a grapefruit. <laughs> we're gonna have sweet, Orangey grapefruit. So you're going for about a quarter cup, Jeff. About a quarter right cup. Around there. All right. Isn't that a quarter cup measuring cup right in front of the bowl? Yeah, that's for other stuff. <laughs> don't want to get it wet. We don't want to. It's all dry it. stuff going yeah. in, maybe. Oh. All right. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna do stir this whole orange. Aren't you glad that you got through that part? <laughs> I'm kind of enjoying just watching Jeff deal with this. <laughs> yeah, I'm really concerned about the color of this thing. No, that, I'm telling you, dude. I bought those for uh, the kids' lunches last week. It smells nice and sweet. They're good. They're tasty. So I was gonna. Uh, have... I think you hit a quarter cup, pal. Think so? Oh yeah. If only we had a measuring cup. I mean, if only we had like a <laughs> quarter cup measuring cup, we could put it in. All right. So now we know. We got a quarter cup of that, and then we have a quarter cup of Chris. Next, sugar. Sugar. So that's why we didn't do it because we wanted to keep it dry. Well, you got to do a quarter cup of sherry too, so that's that's why. So we'll do the sugar first. We'll do the sugar first. <laughs> that's your sugar? What is that, the natural sugar? Yeah. Quarter cup of that. Quarter cup of sherry. Quarter cup of soy. Dark soy. Double dark. Just one of that. Smells like vinegar. Soy. Quarter soy. cup. Soy. Where'd the soy go? Soy. So this doesn't have as much salt as the regular soy, but it's definitely got nice flavor, nice thickness, nice color. It's a little more. How would you guys describe it? Sweeter. Sweeter. Yeah, this is more more so less salty, more savory. Yeah. Tablespoon of rice vinegar. Rice vinegar. A tablespoon of ses sesame oil. Sesame oil. And this calls for a tablespoon of water. I I'd give it a little splash of water. A splash of water. So that's pretty much it for the sauce. So now we get What about the other two oranges? Is that garnish? Yeah, they were just for looks. <laughs> Did you, did you see the size of these? These are just for looks too. I'm not putting those whole things in. Those are those are monsters. jalapenos. Monster jalapenos. When have you seen jalapenos that's a the big size one. of like full size green peppers? That's a big one. So that's gonna be the sauce that we drop on the because we got broccoli somewhere and we're gonna have the beef. Hey, wait, wait, hold on. No cornstarch in the sauce? No. Really? No, the sugar. Okay. It's not gonna really thicken up. It's more gonna coat it. You okay with that, Nate? I'm questioning it. <laughs> but before you put the sauce, you're just gonna put about a tablespoon or so of ginger. Nate always tells me to go easy on the ginger. Chris. It can be very overpowering. It's not that bad. Hey, can, ginger can take over, big time. Chris has learned that lesson the hard way. Yep. My question is. It also gets spicy. Who made the sauce? I made the sauce. Who made the sauce? I made the sauce. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I am the sauce. Dude, how much ginger are you putting in this? It's not that much. Put a tablespoon. A tablespoon of that. Garlic oh, wasn't oil. it you who put so much ginger in the uh, bok choy? Bok choy. <laughs> it was like burning out mouths. Yeah, it was delicious. Yeah. See, it was so good you remembered it. Yep. <laughs> Memorable yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. So I'm doing about three uh, cloves of garlic, four cloves of garlic. Garlic's not gonna hurt you. You put as much as you want of that. <laughs> Three cloves of garlic, a quarter of a fingernail, and a couple of shards of thumb skin. Ugh. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> so now we're just waiting on the beef right to the grill. Well, where's all that stuff go? Does it go in the sauce or? Lots of questions, lots of questions. Yeah, well, you know, inquiring minds wanna know. We got everything, right, as far as <clears throat> in the sauce. So now we just, the only thing we don't have yet is the jalapeno. So you're gonna throw the ginger and the garlic with the beef when you cook the beef, right? So, no. No. So I'm gonna cook the beef first, and yeah. then once we take the beef off, I'm gonna throw the broccoli down with some oil, with the orange zest, with the garlic and ginger, and with the sliced jalapenos. Gotcha. Let that saute up a little bit, cook it with the broccoli, and then once the broccoli's starting to soften a little bit, it'll get tender, then I'm gonna throw the sauce on, mix in the beef, mix it all together. 
I feel like I need an eight page user manual for this. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. This is back to normal. Yeah, just back to normal. What, uh, he took a little vacay, but he's back. So that's it. No, it's he's, funny. He, oh. he, he's so short, I, I got to raise it way up to get you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just go down. Do you want me to seed the jalapenos or are seeds and all going in? No, I think we can do seeds and all. I mean, we're all adults here, right? Yeah. These aren't that big. They're probably not that hot. Can you make it too spicy for me? Yeah, all I'm right, just going to do slices. So I'm going to do thin though. So that way, hopefully, they won't be too hot. You want a bowl for all that? Yeah, we'll put it all together. Bring it down on a cookie sheet once the uh, beef is semi-frozen. All right. I think that's enough. Call. See you in the garage. All right, so we got the beef out of the freezer. We got the, we actually had the griddle on like high and uh, it was getting too hot. So I have it down to low, but as soon as I get all the cold beef down on it, we're gonna crank that back up a bit. Need a good bed of oil. This is kind of like golf. I'm gonna play the, uh, what's it on the green when you're putting? A greeny? No, when you're putting on a green, you play the <laughs> slope. Play the slope. <laughs> so I'm gonna play the slope of Jeff's griddle and try and predict where the oil's gonna go. Nate with the golf uh, terminal. What was that? Yeah, one? I thought you'd be a little quicker on that, Chris. <laughs> All right. So the beef is frozen, right? Or close to frozen. So I'm just some of it's sticking together, which is why I'm using my hands. You gotta kind of remember. I plan to remember the order I'm putting it down because that's the order I'm gonna come back and flip it. Chef, what are we using for oil down here? Uh, that is. So, sorry to bother you as you sit up there doing nothing. It is my cook, my rules. This is pretty sweet. All right, can you answer a question? What kind of oil is that? Uh, I use uh, canola because of you. Nice. I used to use it's a got combination. Higher burn, uh, higher burn. Uh, well, I used to use peanut, and then temp. I realized that it was a waste of money. I can just go with canola, and that works nice. good. I don't know if uh, peanuts healthier though. Either of you guys know? No clue. A lot of people using the avocado oil these days. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm that sorry. To me, that imparts a flavor. Like, you taste it. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the other oils, vegetable, peanut, olive, they're more neutral. I still like If you go with the light oil. olive oil. All right, so this is going to go quick. Yeah, we're looking at like Probably two 90 minutes seconds, two, two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. Two minutes. Go ahead. Just two, say it. Say two it. minutes. <laughs> two minutes for you is not quick. <laughs> yeah, all right. That's a marathon. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, and I kind of just <laughs> running out of room, so I'm gonna come back across the front here. Uh, this is good, he's good. Nate working hard. He's got me holding the camera, which I'm not loving. It smells good. <laughs> it looks great from here. And the subs uh, are probably not loving me holding the camera either. Slow and steady. Slow and steady, yeah. You do know I can't see it. Hey, right? you see that nice Griddle Guys logo on the back right, there? Chris, yeah, that looks good. Jump in here, so. We've already got some moisture gathering on the top. We're gonna start flipping all of these. Yeah, those are ready, yep. We're gonna use a scraper. Nice crustification. Nice. You're doing good, fellas. Keep it up. You look good. Nate, if you wanna pick up the pace just a little bit, okay, bud? <laughs> by the time, oh, yeah. by the time. <laughs> <laughs> look at now it's just, I can't oh, get it no. flipped because you disrupted me. Look at he's, we're gonna get in here. Thank you. Now you're out of my <laughs> way. In here. These are all softballs. He's Nate, laying it up there. Nate almost looks like he doesn't have it together right now. What's going on, Nate? Oh, I had some someone playing defense on the griddle. <laughs> oh, they do look perfect. Don't burn it. Oh, we got good color. Nice. By the time he's done flipping these, that other side's going to come off. I think they're going to be yep. done. I they really think done. freezing them made a difference. What yeah. do you think, Nate? Do you think freezing them made a difference? Because it certainly looks like it. Looks like I it, think so. It's helping it crisp. Yeah. Can I get you some tongs, Nate? I actually have tongs, but I'm, the breading's kind of sticking a little bit, and I don't want to lose that crust. So the scraper lets you get under there and scrape it off. Gotcha. How does uh, working on the most incredible griddle in the world feel? Well, I like the pitchier griddle has a... Uh, CC 12,000. The CC 12,000. The pitch, you mean the, the big bow in the middle? Cause like had all the structure? No, it's, it's <laughs> leaning towards the front of the garage. Yeah. So I actually have like a little puddle of oil to use here. It's like nice. a deep fry. See that, Chris? Oh, yeah. We'll see if Jeff's weld really hold up. No leakage. <laughs> I'll yeah. tell you, I absolutely love that thing. I really do. And, yeah, uh, griddle guy's son has a nice touch. I love that. Yeah. Looks good. All right, so I start taking off, Nate? What do you think? Yeah, I am. I was just breaking them all free. Looks good. Flip huh. one of these guys, look at the other side. Ah, they go a little bit longer on that side. Yeah. What are these, these on uh, medium heat or medium low? Medium. These are on medium. medium. Okay. Actually, medium low now. Oh, we have a casualty. Ah, wrong can. 
This might see the other side of these. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. Look at that. Perfect. All right, so my arms are definitely getting tired. <laughs> We're gonna take these off. When Nate gets it all done and off, we'll give it a, we'll, we'll turn it back on, all right? Brock, broccoli up next. Look at this picture, unbelievable. Only at Jeff's house. <laughs> this is great. All right, Nate is all done, just pulled off all that beef. We've already did a little quick sample. <laughs> it's yeah. very crispy. Uh, tasty. And tasty. It worked out Successful perfect. so far. I think all right, what do we got next, Jeff? I think they were onto something. We got Jeff off the lazy seat, so. Not happy what, about it What's up either. next? Ah. I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna put that on the broccoli. Put down the broccoli, yeah. yeah. Get on it. Yeah. What are you waiting for? I'm thinking about it. You're thinking finish, about she it. Wants to finish your story. Yeah. This is not a Sunday afternoon. This is a Wednesday night. I would say daylight's burning, but that ended like five <laughs> hours ago. Yeah. They made me get down from my throne. So this, we're just gonna do oil, put them out. <clears throat> How long is this gonna take, Nate? And we got our jalapenos, our ginger, our garlic, and our zest. Just gonna warm that up, make it look. Uh, make it look like what? <laughs> I'm gonna be like the off-camera guy on Food Network and just, give you your next ingredient. Just pretty. I mean, that just looks pretty. Does the orange zest disappear? No. Oh, does that? Do we eat that? You eat that. So it gives a little bit of bitterness to offset. Take me back to when I was a kid, and I used to think an orange was an apple, and I'd bite right into it. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm starting to get some aroma from that. Nice. Broccoli down. Oh. Are we doming the broccoli tonight? No. No? No, we're just gonna, just gonna let it sit for a little bit. You can, always, oil. you can always put your cover down, I guess, right? Yeah, but I don't think we're gonna need to. Okay. You know, it kind of depends how you like your broccoli, crunchy or not. I like it crunchy, and we're not in a rush. I know you guys are in a rush, but I'm not in a rush. <laughs> Gonna put a little oil on that. Let's give this a couple minutes. You gotta stop. <laughs> you're trying to you're trying to get that look, aren't you? You're trying. I'm not I'm pretty sure we got it. You have to last try clip. that hard. You're not gonna win. What are you talking about? Yeah, so it's uh 1047 at night now. Jeff's still working on his broccoli. <laughs> Alright, so this has only been what, five minutes? Getting some smell of orange, smell of garlic, ginger. Oh, looking good. I like my broccoli crispy, so I'm gonna do this a little early. Plus, I think the sauce is gonna actually help uh, steam it too, so it's gonna do some cooking. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, it smells delicious. That just changed everything. Yeah. All right, now that's coated nicely. I'm gonna throw the beef in. Careful with that beef, Jeff. I know, I Careful. Know. I don't want to lose any. Uh, I should grab the platter for that. Uh -huh. huh? All right, now we get to watch Jeff, who had lost one of his spatulas. So, yeah, for the record, <laughs> I lost one of my flippers. <laughs> For so, the record, we all think he left it on the hood of his truck and drove away. You're right. <laughs> and he doesn't deny that, folks. He doesn't deny it. Probably no. two weeks ago. <laughs> I don't. There we go. When we leave tonight, they will look up and down the driveway. <laughs> no. I'm going to see it sitting on the side of the highway. That smells delicious, Jeff. It smells good, but I feel like Todd Tobin does the stir fry toss better than you, Jeff. I don't know. That's <laughs> because he has two flippers. And follow up question is a flipper the same as a spatula? No, they're different. <laughs> a spatula is square, a flipper is ob oblong. All right. <laughs> like gonna, uh, rectangle? I'm yeah. going to submit that question to SpongeBob and see what he comes back with. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to uh, take it off. Load it back on the uh, platter right yeah. here. My little trough of goodness down there. Still got the griddle on what, low? Yeah. All right. So, when we were downstairs in the garage, we totally forgot to say, done. So uh, now we're up here in the warmth, eating. Stuff's delicious. Excellent. Really, really tasty. Good job, my man. Yeah, good job, guys. Very Cheers. happy. Very happy. Tastes legit. Cheers to you guys, too. It's like I'm eating at the China Blossom restaurant down the street. Hey, you yeah. know what else we forgot? You guys like, subscribe. Oh, yeah. You get that every time. Oh, yeah. the notification. Hit the button. Smash the like button. And if you made it this far, you must kind of like us. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? 
It's outstanding. It's delicious. The jalapenos are great. The soy is perfect. I actually, a lot of flavor. A lot of flavor. Were you surprised it wasn't that sweet? Like it really wasn't No, sweet. I don't think there was that much sugar in there. What'd you have? Quarter cup, about a quarter cup. <laughs> I, I'll tell you, I got a little bit. Of the, I got a little bit of the ginger, just a little bit, a little bit of the garlic. Yeah. It's the best part that I like is that the beef is actually crispy. Like I felt it was kind of almost more savory than sweet, but it's good. Yeah, I think it's real tasty. Very good. Overall. Well, guys, thanks again. We love you. We appreciate it. Our Patreon members, thank you. you guys, are the best. Thank you so much. Best. best. See you in the next video. See you in the next video. See you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.